hi everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how to make oreo pops and how to color your chocolate the jingle way everything that i'll be using i'll go ahead and add a description at the bottom of this video i'm gonna go ahead and get started i already have my wax paper set up i'm gonna start separating the oreo cookies from each other i slide the cookies apart i don't pull them in opposite directions because i feel that the cookie's gonna break so all you have to do is take the top part and slide it off carefully and you should get all the cream on one cookie and have it clear on the other. There are times where you'll have a little bit of the white on this cookie which is completely okay but just make sure that when you piece them back together it lands on the corresponding spot. So we'll go ahead and heat up the chocolate. Today I'll be doing a blue color, like a baby blue color. So I'm gonna start off with the white chocolate. Let's say that I already know this chocolate will take two minutes to completely heat up. You don't wanna put it in there to start with two minutes because you will overheat it. So what you want to do is do 30 second intervals and just stop it, try to mix it as much as possible and then you continue to heat it another 30 seconds. Uh, once you get used to heating the chocolate, you'll kind of know when you can stop the microwave. But for the most part, if you're a beginner, I do recommend just starting with the 30 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the microwave. So while I wait for that, um, I do want to let you guys know that the candy color that I'll be using today is by Chef Master. I did pick this up at my local bakery supply store. If you have one near you, they probably carry this. If they don't, you can order them online. So what you do need to check is that you get the one that says candy color. So now I'm gonna check my chocolate. It is like super hard still, so we're gonna pop it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Okay guys, so I got the chocolate out of the microwave after the second round of 30 seconds. Okay, so as you can see, these are still not going away, so we're gonna put it in the microwave again for like 20 seconds. I'm gonna start adding the color in there. I wanna have the light blue, so I'm just gonna add little by little. So just keep in mind that this, you can put like a drop or two and it goes a long way. So you don't want to throw in a lot all at once because then if you're trying to aim for a light color, then you might end up getting a really dark color and the only way for you to fix that is for you to heat up more white chocolate and then stir it in. So here I'm going to start adding this and I'm going to stir. I'm going to get closer to the camera so you guys can see what's happening inside this bowl. Just going to keep mixing it. So you can see it getting that baby blue color. You have to mix it very well. Make sure that there's no royal blue streaks in there. If I'm not satisfied with this color and I want it darker, then I'll go ahead and add more candy color to make it darker. I would want it to have a little more color than this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit. And then I'm gonna mix that in. And it should give it a prettier blue. So I'm really liking this color. Super cute. So now that this is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to set up your Oreo Pop. And it's like up to here. I'm going to start adding the sticks to the Oreos. You're gonna grab the Oreo. You're gonna slide the cookie apart. Then we'll go ahead and dip the stick into the chocolate. You don't want to stick it all the way in because you just need it to basically fall on the center. Go ahead and tap it to remove the excess chocolate. Okay, you can see this right there. And now we put it in the center of the Oreo pop and press it down gently. 
can wiggle it in there. Once it's in there, you go ahead and top it off with the other side of the Oreo. So I like to use these sticks because they're flat and the cookie closes better. When I use the other lollipop sticks, I feel that they're not as secure, but a lot of people do use them. You can use those as well. This is just my personal preference. The blue color that we just put in the middle of the cookie, it acts as a cement, so it'll dry up. And what it'll do is that it'll hold both of these cookies together. So when you dip it into the chocolate, it won't come sliding off. If it's not dry, then once you dip this into the chocolate, because the chocolate is a little hot, it'll make it slide off, it'll fall, and it'll stay inside your cup. So you basically have to fish it out. Once the Oreo Pops are dry, you can start to dip them. You're gonna take the Oreo Pop and you're going to dip it into the cup. You're gonna put it in as much as you need to to try to cover the entire cookie. I don't like to push it in too much because then the chocolate will come up to the stick and I feel that that looks messy. So what I do is that I dip it in, go straight down. You can see right there that some of the cookie is still showing. I'm not going to push it in a lot more. I'm just going to wiggle it until that chocolate comes over to cover the cookie. Then you start pulling it out. You see that there's still some chocolate dripping there at the bottom. I just go ahead and scrub it lightly against the cup. And then I'll set it down to dry. So all the Oreo pups are dry now. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and start with my Ziploc bag so I can do the drizzle. I'm going to do the drizzle the same color. You guys can heat up any other color that you like. The drizzle does not have to be the same. So here I'm going to cut the tip. So I cut the tip on this side. I'm going to go ahead and pour the chocolate on this side. That way the chocolate doesn't start dripping out from this corner. You don't have to pour the whole cup in there. Push the chocolate over to this side. You can see where it's already dripping. As mentioned in my first video, push the chocolate down. You wanna hold it tight from up here and you're gonna squeeze with these fingers. I'm going to put three next to each other to start to drizzle in. You can do it to four. But since I only have five done here, I'm going to put three next to each other, about a finger width apart. Then I'm going to start to drizzle. I'm going to start on the left and go to the right. Squeeze. Go downward. So that's it for today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching The Jane Away.